It's PP and Peter's Bachelor Weekend. It's PP and Peter's Bachelor Weekend. Don't worry about us, cause we'll be just fine. Me and PP too. PP too. <gasps> what are you doing? <gasps> Is it our Bachelor Weekend? What are you doing? <gasps> what are you doing? What? What? You want to have a party? You want to have a sleepover? You do? Baby! <gasps> well, there's Boo Radley! Hi, Boo Radley! Baby! <laughs> Baby! Baby! <gasps> Boo Radley, what's going on? Where's Tucker? Tucker! <gasps> Pee -pee. <laughs> you guys are like... <gasps> Pee -pee. You wanna have a bachelor weekend? Aw, oh, good boy, good boy. Yes. Oh, look who it is! Hello, Tucker! Hello, Mr. Tucker! Aw! Hi, Boo Radley. <laughs> Hi, Pee -pee. So, this is my bachelor weekend with the pups. And it's very, very late right now. Did you just hear that noise? Please hold on. I don't know if that was in my house. Did you hear something that sounded like it was breaking? Oh, thank God I was so scared. I put the Pirates of the Caribbean on for the dogs. I was like outside doing my live stream. Oh, and... Do you guys want to see what my candle wax thing looks like? Since I talk about it so much. It's the plug of this. Damn, there it is. Okay. So here's the lamp. And then it's so dirty in here. <clears throat> and the candle wax I just used was vanilla pumpkin cream. And these are all of my waxes. Oh, dirty lighter. <laughs> my friend went to Greece and she brought me that lighter. Do you see? <gasps> bad, bad lighter. So anyway, yep, I have tons of them. I love them so much. It's my proud collection. Then my friend went to the Castro, which that's Tanya brought me that from the Castro Theater. It's a painting that my mother got me. It's an old lamp of my mom's. You guys wanted a little house tour. I'll do a little house tour. So what are we doing, boys? Hello. I should probably do a house tour. Like our house is, it's not clean at all, but like. So you come inside the door. Hi, door. And this is what you see when you come in the door. And there's my sandals down there. And the hair says little fools. And so there's a stairway that goes up and then there's a stairway that goes down to the basement. We have a full basement. And this is our bathroom, which is not finished. Because we had to get this wall redone because it was leaking from upstairs. We're getting all this wallpaper redone. We're doing redoing everything in here. Autumn sent me that. We're getting throwing all these out. This is gonna be all gray in here. So and then we have a garage. So exciting, isn't it? And then here's my kitchen, which you all know because you've seen it a million times. Kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. And then let's see my epilepsy medicine, paintings, literally everything that you could use to cook that we never cook. Sink. There's my tray for my mukbangs, refrigerator, pans. Let me go in here. Here's my computer right here. And then all of the books. 
the drama phone. And this is our couch. Like a little like oil thing that Alex uses a lot. This is our couch. And then you guys wanna see what we have over here at this table. That's us on our wedding reception night. The chandelier in Las Vegas. And that was my grandmother's clock. And then we collect all this crystal stuff. We have a bunch of it. And then these little glass birds. And this is this book about Grace Coddington, who's the creative director for uh, Vogue magazine. And then our TV. Oh! TV, chest, fireplace. It's a painting that my friend did of me when I was 20. Can't really see it, but I had long hair then. That's me when I was 20. And then my bookshelves. Let's go. Our house is so dusty right now. Bookshelves go way down, and then I love hunt print, scene, hunt scene prints. And then we have this chair of love, this wooden chair. Or wooden chair, leather chair. And then just a bunch of crap over here. My Aunt Susie gave us this from Tiffany's for a wedding. I love that. And then that is Alex and his best friend, Sarah. And Alex is his mom on the day that Alex graduated from college. And Alex and his best friend, Sarah, again. And that's Alex and I at this wedding thing. And if you see, it says, it's supposed to be the strangers. And it says, because you were home. Because, that's what our things say. See? And then here are wedding pictures of us. And then this is the dining room table. And it actually has slats that go into it, so it will sit 12. So this is what it looks like if you're staying in my air fryer place when you come into our condo. See, it's not very big. And there's Boo Radley, hi. And there's Pee Pee. And there's where I film all of my videos, see? What do you think about all that, peeps? Huh? You having a good weekend? You are? And then there's Alex and I on our wedding. And I just love those little things like that, it's just sitting around. So anyway, my Vans hat with my Vans sunglasses. And then the secretary desk, that was my mother's. Record player, records, paintings, all kinds of stuff. That clock that is forever wrong. We are not going down into the basement because it is a mess. And the upstairs is a mess too, but... If you guys watch my vlog for a while, this is the house that I grew up in, in Carmel. My mom had that picture painted. So, okay, I'm just gonna tell you right now, our bedroom is a complete mess. So, what is it? What is it? Yeah, you ready to go into the bedroom? You are, Boo Radley? You pee pee? They think we're going to bed, but we're not. The night is just starting. Okay. So, the bedroom is such a mess right now. But, <laughs> oh my God. So I usually make the bed when Alex is out of town. He does not make the bed. So we're getting a new bed, we're getting new end tables, we're getting a new mattress, and we're putting an oil, oil painting over that. And the bed that we're getting comes to about there. And then, here's all of Alex's jewelry and his colognes, half of which he took this weekend. His old ass chest of drawers, which we're getting rid of and we're getting a new one, all of Alex. My fan, all of my dirty clothes. I mean, this place is a mess right now. My love boat when I watch, when Alex is out of town. Whew, our TV for our bedroom. Pee-Pee, what are you doing? Look, I brought this old comf this old quilt up. Because Pee-Pee likes to sleep on it, watch. And I was singing to him, Grandma's feather bed. So anyway, and then all of these, here, we'll turn on some more lights. All of these uh, bracelets of Alex's. All the dog toys and that chrome chair over there, all of Alex's purchases. That's me. And that's Boo Radley. What do you think, Boob? He said, I don't know about all them people. I don't know who those people are. And then this is 
our dirty ass closet. <laughs> so, you can see we're real heavy on the shoe game, the jean game. Look at all my jeans. Ridiculous. Can't even fit into half of them. And Alex loves shoes and hats. That's a Tomorrow World hat, Ultra hat, Avicii hat. I think he took all of his sneakers with him. Well, not all of them. There's some. Look at how organized my husband is. And these are his summer clothes. Well, except for those sweaters. But these are his summer clothes. He, like, is one of those people that trades stuff out. I don't. There's all my... Here are all my shoes. Are you ready for this ridiculousness? I don't ever throw anything away. So I literally have shoes in here that are, like... Like, I love moccasins. These moccasins right here are literally, like, I've had them. I can't even tell you. Probably since I was, like, 18. I just don't throw anything away. So, yeah. That's pretty much the excitement of the house. You guys have now got a home, home tour. Oh, you want to see the bathroom? The bathroom is so dirty right now. I'm so embarrassed to show you guys this. Oh, and then that's what the... So if you're laying in the bed, that's what it looks like. It's like this big open sea. And the loft is over there. Phoebe's there. And Boo Radley is... Are you sleeping on your dad's pillow? Oh. oh, you are? He said, could you please leave me alone? I don't want to talk to those people. Well, Boo Radley, you know, you're always telling us about your trips. Where are you going next? Oh, I don't know. I'm a secret spy. Don't even worry about it. You're a secret spy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I travel all around the world. Well, who are you a spy for? Oh, I'm like, kind of like 007. They call me 00 Dog. 00 Dog, Boo Radley? Yeah, I said, don't worry about it. Well, where are you going next? I think I might go to Egypt. Might want to see those pyramids. The pyramids, Boo Radley? <gasps> you don't say. I mean, I might want to. Don't even worry about it. Well, what would you do there? Good Tucker. Oh, I don't know. I might want to meet a pharaoh or two or something. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> These dogs are so funny. Do you guys love your dog so much? I love my dog so much. Look at my leg. Hi, leg. Hi, BB. <laughs> what are you doing? Is it? Pee pee and pee and it's about your weekend. BB, I'm trying to lay down so I can be a movie star. Hold on. <laughs> oh my lord, Pee Pee. Okay. Can we be movie stars, all of us? He said, I don't want to be a movie star, Dad. He's crying all over me. Pee Pee. Pee Pee. Pee Pee, do you want to be? Okay, can we all be movie stars together? <gasps> Pee Pee, do you want to be a movie star? <laughs> he said, oh, I want to be a movie star, Daddy. Bye. Pee Pee. Oh, now he's wanting to play. You want to play? PB. What? What is it? We took a nice long nap tonight, didn't we? So this is what we did tonight. Aw. PB's being real sweet now. Put Be sweet for the movie. Can you be sweet for the movie, Mr. PB? Aw. I love you. So this is what we did tonight. We... What did we do tonight? Oh, I did my uh, Taco Bell mukbang. <sighs> Boo Radley, have you left for Egypt yet? He said, uh, PB, you just kicked Boo Radley in the face. Boo Radley is. He said, I'm uh, pretty much in Brazil. <laughs> this is life, look. PB is wound up tonight. Can we kiss? Let me give you a good mm. Okay. Boo Ratley just wants to be his best friend, and PB gets kind of bored of it after a second. So we. PB, <sighs> what are you doing? PB, PB, <laughs> what are you doing? PB, you can't be a movie star that way. Are you on drugs, PB? PB, why are you acting crazy? Do you have the devil in you? PB. Do you need an exorcism? <laughs> PB. You guys are like, this is the worst vlog ever. Well, it's different though, isn't it? Okay, so this is my life. 
Where are you going, dog? Pee pee. No, we don't do that. Definitely not on camera. We don't help Tucker on camera. Like he's like, okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm sitting side saddle now. I'm being a movie star. Now you gotta be like my help. Like if we're having a talk show, see? Okay. So what did we do tonight, PP? Well, we made videos and we started uploading our videos. This <laughs> is so cute. Look at that little face. Oh my lord. He's just the cutest thing in the whole world. You got a little nose. Yeah, so sweet. I love you. Aw. Aw, look at that. E.T. phone home. And then we uploaded videos, and then we did our Taco Bell mukbang. And then I took a nap with the pups. We had a real good nap, didn't we? Didn't we, Boo Radley? I guess so. And then we did a live stream. We had a great live stream. Everybody that was in there was so nice. It was so fun. Aw. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Best boy. You're the best boy too, Boo Radley. And now I am filming this for you guys because you guys asked for a home tour, a rather boring home tour. Boo Radley. Where's Tucker? Tucker can play for hours and hours and hours with a toy. Boo Radley, is it time for you to leave yet for your trip? He said, well, I don't know. I might just want to go to the Atlantis and the Bahamas now. Um, and I'm going to go to the casino. And Alex is in Chicago for about bachelor weekend. He's up there for spring awakening. He was hanging out with his friend and now he's going to hang out with his other friend. And he's been texting me the whole time. And yeah. Oh, PP. Look, PP lost some of his teeth. So now his tongue, do you see that? It hangs out. Look at that. But it's okay, PP. You're cuter now. And the vet said he doesn't even know anyway because he uses his back molars but i'll tell you something when that tooth was loose and we didn't know what it was he was miserable he didn't know what we didn't know we didn't know what was wrong with him and uh his tooth was like loose and he was in so much pain but we didn't know that and dogs can't tell you what they're in pain for you know how is i my sitting on the flip flop you guys want to see truth of the nature i have a hole in my flip flop these are my favorite flip flops in the entire world these Sanok ones. But we also have a ceiling fan. But we don't use it. Yeah. I told you that my condo is small. People don't believe me, but it is the truth of the nature. Well, PP, what are we going to do tomorrow? Huh? fan feels so good. Here, I'll show you my bathroom, which is a total mess. Don't judge me. Here is our bathroom. The shower needs to be cleaned. We have a skylight. Skylight. Sky bright. Toilet. Bathtub, which you don't work, use. There you go. And then we have this closet is like a total mess look at that do you see that thing how it's like we need to take all those suits downstairs before that breaks it falls about once a year so we want to get this whole room like this is our plan for the summer is to have all this shit taken out of here which it was 10 times worse and this is all of my winter stuff some of my winter stuff right here and in, in that box right there but we want to have all of this stuff um look these are these robes that my dad got for us at Restoration Hardware. These big brown robes, aren't those so nice? And Alex got us ones for our anniversary that are white and monogram. But we want to, uh, this used to be my mom's wrapping station for like presents, but we want all this taken out and then we want to put in our washer and dryer up here. Because that's really what it's for. Wouldn't that be cool? And then we wouldn't even have to go down to the basement and then the basement we're gonna just turn into its own separate room, so. Yep. 
somebody asked me if I can't watch like scary movies while Alex is gone. Yeah, I don't watch scary movies while Alex is gone. I just don't like it at all. What you doing, Tucker? Was that your baby? Is that your baby? Do you love your baby? Tucker is so sweet, isn't he? Look at those sweet eyes. My babies are so sweet. You want to see something that Tucker will do? Watch. Okay. Tucker, sit. What? No. Tucker, come here. Come here, sweetheart. Tucker. Come here, honey. Come here. Okay. Well, he's scared of Pee-Pee because Pee-Pee likes to hump him. You like to hump your brother, don't you, Pee-Pee? Okay, watch. Let me see if I can get him to do this. <laughs> Look at the fan air on him. Watch this. Okay, see, what you do is you scratch him, but then he'll beg for more. It's so cute. If I can get him to do it. Okay. No, he usually taps you with his arm. Do you like that? Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Look at Boo Radley. Is that, look at Boo Radley's hair. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? He's like, more, Dad, more. I think dogs are the most wonderful things. I think they're so sweet. Don't you, Boo Rantley? He said, well, of course I do. I'm a dog. What do you think I'm going to say? All right. get off here. Look at my hair. They look silly. I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna go out to my car and I'll do a little vlog for my car for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. Can you believe that I waited so long to do my vlog tonight? Now, do you guys have a better idea of what my house looks like? You're like, yes, you live in a shithole. No. It's just messy right now. I'm gonna take all my dirty laundry. I need to do all that with dirty laundry tomorrow. Look at these two boys. They're like supermodels in the 90s, and their hair is being blown in the wind. <laughs> Boo Radley, you look so glamorous. I mean, of course I do. I'm a supermodel of the world. Sachet, chante. Chante, sachet. Chante, chante, chante. Y'all, I go to the casino late, but like this is really late. I was like doing bills and I got caught up in this episode of Murder, She Wrote. I love that show. My mom and I used to watch Murder, She Wrote and then Heart Tart and Matlock were on after it and I recorded it. Like why? I don't know. What happened with this chapstick is melted now too. Uh, I don't know why. It's not like I'm gonna probably ever watch those episodes, but do you guys ever do that? I love I don't love Matlock so much. My mom did. But I do love Murder, She Wrote and Heart to Heart. And I have the first season of Heart to Heart, but that's it. Um. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I would so love for Alex and I to be like the gay version of Heart to Heart. If I could be... If I could be... <laughs> Don't you love how I just pull shit out of my ass, but like I don't really mean it. Like if I could be anything in the entire world, I would love to be the gay version of Heart to Heart. No, but like seriously, they drive like this Rolls Royce and they have the driver and the butler, what's his name? Felix. And then they have like they're billionaires and they travel everywhere, but they have adventure too. Like, you know, like wouldn't that be so amazing? I would love it so much. I love her hair. What was her name? Is she still around? That was Robert Wagner, wasn't it? <sighs> That's when TV was good back in the day. Now it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. <laughs> Do you guys like that movie, Hocus Pocus? I love that movie so much. It's like one of my favorite movies ever. When they go in Penny Marshall's house with that, and she's like, you need to get these sluts out of this house or whatever. She says, I love that so much. <laughs> when he, they think he's really the devil. Ugh. 
Aren't my dogs so cute? Like, I, like people don't understand, but like I literally can just hang out with my dog and talk to them like all night long. Because they all have, they each have such personalities. Little Tucker, I was gonna turn the computer, or the computer, I was gonna turn the phone. I was gonna turn the, na 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 na. The adventure of heart to heart. Where did Peter's mind go? Um, I was gonna turn the camera back on because little Tucker had his little head on the pillow like this and he was just looking at me when I was getting ready. But I wanna go to the casino tonight because Alex said he's coming home early on Sunday now and I can't go tomorrow because I have to be up early on Sunday for a sobriety commitment thing. So I think tomorrow night I'm gonna get pizza. <laughs> oh my God, should I do another mukbang? I might get pizza. And I never get Donato's with Alex, my husband. <laughs> As if I know you guys don't know who Alex is. My husband does not like Donato's. He loves Pizza Hut so much. And then a friend of mine and I today were talking about Caesar's Pizza. Because they're, do you guys have Caesar's Pizza in your And he was like, well, you can get it for like $5.99. I was like, you can get a large Caesar's Pizza for like $5.99. And he goes, yeah. And I go, I only have one thing to say about that. And he goes, what? And I said, pizza, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, Alex hates when I do that. He's like, that is your, like, witch howl. Do you guys remember those commercials? Pizza, pizza. Is <laughs> that that little Hail Caesars guy in it? Oh, gosh. I'm in a good mood tonight. I got a nap. I had, like, my You Now stream was so much fun tonight. I had such a good time in it. And I am going to actually get a fountain drink, I think. Oh, my God, this guy. I'm going to show you this. See if you can see it. Can you see that? That gorgeous Mercedes, which is actually the exact Mercedes that is in my car. It was a gold, old, like 450 S, uh, SEL. Is that what it is? I don't know cars that well. Convertible. But there was a huge dog in the passenger seat. But that book is in my, is in my or that car is in my book. So if you want to read my book, then you'll know. I got to get gas. I'll be back in a second. There was some strange business going on in that gas station in there. This is my vlog, not my drama channel, but if I was doing my drama channel right now, I have a few things to say about all that. I gotta get rid of some of these chopsticks. They're all melted. There's no reason for me to keep them. Needless to say, there was some hocus pocus tomfoolery going on in there. And uh, there was this girl in there and she was like, real country. Which, hey, you know, I am too. I ain't got any issues with that, right? But like she had, like it looked like, what's it called, a hajib? Is that what it's called? That Muslim women wear? What's that called? I know I'm mispronouncing that, I apologize. Um. But it wasn't. It was like this pink, plank. If you got up close to her, it looked like that from far away, and she had this big blue denim dress on. But it was like this pink blanket. And then, like, she was standing there, and she was getting a slushy, and she was rocking back and forth. And she kept on looking at this other guy. There was this guy in there that he was getting like a fountain coke, and he was trying to like fill it like with like half Sprite and half of like slushy. And she just kept on sitting there, and she literally like would like fill it up halfway with her slushie and then like with her straw drink the whole half of the slushie and then she'd just start laughing and giggling like out of control and then she'd fill it up again like she just sat there like four times I sat there and watched her while I got my fountain pop my diet coke Di diet pepsi actually and I was kind of craving it's so hot in here I'm gonna turn the air on and um, did it like three or four times and this guy was just like looking at her like honey you are Lenny Tins so anyway I thought, like, I didn't know. I thought, like, this whole thing was, like, this very religious thing, you know? I didn't, hell, I didn't know. So, anyway, but she, like, her friend came in, and he was very, like, goth. That's the only way to explain it. He was 100% goth, hair, gauges, clothes, whatever. And I'm like, okay, so now I'm completely confused. And then she took the thing off her head, and then she just started rocking, and la I was like, I've gotta get out of here. I feel like I'm in a David Lynch movie. It's a true story. Do you guys ever feel like that? Like, what is the weirdness that is going on in my life right now? Like, I needed to get out. So I did, I left. <laughs> She's probably back there still rocking, drinking slushies. 
vampire like me, like I'm a vampire, okay? What I mean by that is that I stay up late at night, right? And uh, like I really am more, I've always been like this, you guys. Always, always, always since I was a little kid. Like my mom would tell me that like, well, first of all, when I was an infant, like she could get me to sleep all day long, but during the night I would not sleep, right? So it probably goes back to them, like my biological clock or something is all like misset. And um, and I do know that when I got sober, my doctor told me that because for so long I had been like passing out and like blacking out, that like it would take my body like a long time, maybe never, to get used to just like falling asleep at a normal time. Because I don't. My husband goes, I mean he can fall asleep like that. It takes me a long time. These are some bumpy roads tonight. Okay, I'll tell you about why I'm a vampire in just a second. You have to hold on, I'm going to the bank. Okay, I'm back. I don't really, I can't even get this camera to sit where I want it to sit anymore. It doesn't really matter, does it? <clears throat> so, I was listening to this song, which is why I didn't come right back, called Tick Tock, Tick Tock by Kyle Pierce, remix by Jung, J-U-N-G-E. I spend like so much of my time, Alex and I both do this, and we like Shazam songs or look up songs because we listen to like so much electronic dance music, like 51, 52, and 53. 53 is like all lounge electronic dance music on Sirius if you have it. And then I constantly am just updating my SoundCloud because you can get the songs for free on SoundCloud. If you guys have SoundCloud, go follow me. Just look up Peter Mon and there I'll be and then you can follow me and you can listen to all the same music that I am. So I was having this thought earlier tonight about um, so many people ask me to do meetups, you know? And I was like, and I'm always kind of like weirded out about it. I'm like, like I'm not weirded out about the idea of it. I think it would be really fun to meet you guys. But like it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, you know, it's not about my social anxiety. I think it's about my lack of confidence that I'm kind of like, why would you guys want to meet me? Like, I don't, like, I really question that. Like, I'm not like I think there's something, you know, sketchy about it. Like, I know you're being nice about it. But I'm like, but what is it about me? Like, I don't understand why anybody would want to meet me. You know what I mean? But, like, I just need to get the fuck over that. Right? And I need to just be like, okay, well, people want to, like, me to do a meetup. So, you know, it's not like I have a million subscribers and if I went on world tour like some of these YouTubers that, like, you know, I would book a room. It's just not going to happen. But, like, one of the things I could do is that, like, I fly a lot, right? So, because, you know, Alex and I travel, like, four or five times a year and we usually have connecting flights. So, I was thinking, you know, like, if I have a connecting flight, like, in Dallas and I have, like, an hour, well, I could do, like, a meetup in Dallas and then anybody that lives in that area that wants to drive there. And I know airports are not real convenient for people. But, like, you know, I have to just be there for an hour anyway. So, it would be a great time to, like, meet some people out there, you know? And then, we, we get to know each other face to face and become best duties and have a Diet Coke together or something like that. Who knows, you know? Fountain Coke's across the nation. I think it'd be real fun. So anyway, um, yeah. Okay, so why I'm a vampire? Like, I mean, I'm not really a vampire, right? Like, it's not like I'm sucking people's blood. Um, Although I do love those stories and stuff. But don't ask me if I read Anne Rice. I can't get into Anne Rice for some reason. I just can't. And I know people love her and she's a fantastic writer. I know she is. I read Interview with a Vampire. I thought it was extremely well written. I don't like era pieces. And, um... And I remember back in the day when that came out, I was, like, in, like, college. And, like, everybody wanted to write vampire novels. And they would sit up at, you know, Perkins and Denny's until, like, 5 o'clock in the morning writing novels and notebooks. And they were going to be the next Anne Rice. I wonder what happened to all those people. Maybe some of them are the next Anne Rice. Who knows? Um, but I will tell you that I've, I've read a lot of Christopher Rice, her son. And I really, really like him. But anyway, this is not about that. So, I, um... I have always stayed up super late and I, I've always had a hard time falling asleep. Like I would just lay there in bed for hours and my mind would just like run, 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 run. And you know, like my mom did all the tricks when I was growing up, like no naps and you know, like no caffeine. I was not allowed to eat sugar past a certain time. You know, I'm just like, I mean, back then they just called it energetic, but like you guys know I'm ADHD off the charts, right? And it's like literally it takes me like five 
five minutes to get up and then when I'm up, I'm kind of like, ah, you know? And then I'm like that all day long, but when I crash, I crash. But like, it takes me forever to fall asleep. But like, I'm out. Like, I'm out, out. And, um, and I love my naps today because my naps, like I sleep better in a two, like I take two hour naps typically, an hour and a half, two hour naps. And this has been a problem in my marriage because Alex is like, you always nap when I'm getting ready to come home because it takes me so long to get my stuff done with work and then come home and film videos and whatever. So like, or back in the day when I was writing, you know, my last novel, I uh, would, that sounds so weird to say. Like, I don't think of myself as a writer like that. I am, but I just don't think of myself that way. You know, like, I would come home and I was very much on a schedule because I was getting it done over a short period of time. And um, so anyway, I would, like, come home, nap, and then I would write late into the night. Well, then we never got to hang out. But we don't do that anymore, and I try not to take naps like that anymore because that's been an issue in the past. And, and and to be honest with you, it's been an issue in every relationship I've had. My naps have been my naps have been an issue in every relationship I've been in. So, but I do love my naps, and I learned them from my uncle Dave, my aunt Kathy's husband, that just passed away because. Ever since I can remember, we would be over at his house like in the middle of the afternoon. There'd be like 20 people over there on a Saturday. They'd be having a cocktail party. And my uncle at like 4 o'clock would just like get up and walk into the bedroom and turn on the fan and close the door. Always. But never said I'm sorry or I excuse me or anything. Just went and took a nap. And I loved it. And, um, but anyway, I have just always felt more in sync at night. I'm driven to be more creative and passionate at night. I feel more alert and more alive at night. I'm just a night person. I won't say that I'm a third shift person though. Like I worked third shift for a while, um, you know, like 10 to eight or whatever, 10 to seven. I didn't love that. I, I would start crashing and burning around four or five, um, which is usually when I start crashing and burning now anyway. But I love the hours of like 12 to four. Like those are my favorite hours of the day. Isn't that so strange? I'm just very on point on those hours, and that's when I'm, like, at my creative peak. You know, there, I don't know if there's been a lot of studies done about this. I actually don't know if there's been any studies about this, but, like, what hours each person, like, do you think that each of us is, like, and maybe it has something to do with birth or labor or something like that, like, which hours we're, like, the most productive at? Because I am the most productive between, like, 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. Like, those are hands down, like, most productive hours. I love those hours of the day. Um... But the problem with that is that the most of the rest of the world doesn't live like that, you know? And so by the time that I get up in the afternoon, like most people's days are half over. And, um, you know, it's been convenient for me to have a career. Now, when I worked in treatment, I couldn't do that because I had to be up at, you know, 6.30 and I had to be in there at 8. Um, but I was late a lot my last year. I almost got into a lot of trouble for it. But can you imagine me getting up at 6.30? I don't even remember what time I went to bed. But I mean, I can just remember all my life. I've just like, even if I go to bed now at like five o'clock in the morning, I just sit there and I'm like, uh, I can't go to sleep. And I don't read before I go to bed and I put my phone down. I do all the tricks that everybody says. You know, I take the five milligrams of melatonin. I used to do the sleepy time tea, but the sleepy time tea makes me stay awake. Like this is one of the things that's interesting about me having ADHD. And, and I, I have been professionally diagnosed when I was 22 and I came out of treatment. But, like, I mean, it's been 22 years. But I was diagnosed at that time by my counselor. He had me take the test. And he's like, you are, like, ADHD off the charts. I'm like, well, of course. But when I was growing up, we didn't call it that. But here's the thing with it. Very much like stimulants for people with ADHD, which I could probably greatly benefit from, but I'm not as an addict and a person in recovery going to take a stimulant. I'm just not. And I mean, I, I think if people choose to do that, that's their own business. And I think that's fine. But I'm a Puritan. I don't take anything over the counter except for a leave for my migraine headaches. And I'm prescribed that. But I don't take anything mood all train. Some people want to say that caffeine is mood all train, but that's the least of what I take. So anyway, I, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, so with that, like when people, like I used to go drink from Starbucks, are you ready? A venti iced coffee with two equals and three, like two or three extra shots. Maybe it was, yeah, but it was like a six shot. They called it a red eye. They called it black eye or red, they called it a red eye. And, um, and every time I would get it, they would be like, oh my God, there's so much caffeine in this. Well, 
I'd be halfway through that drink and I'd start getting real tired and I'd start feeling real kind of normal and calm down. And that's what's interesting is like with people that truly have ADHD, when you give them a stimulant, it brings them down and it helps them focus, okay? It helps that energy level go away because you're combating that, that <laughs> with like the same kind of stimulant and you know, it kind of like counteracts itself out, right? Um, well, sleepy time tea, I don't know why, and I don't know why melatonin does work for me, but the sleepy time tea truly keeps me up. Like, if I take it, the other thing is, I'll tell you, sometimes, this hasn't happened in a long time, but sometimes this happens, is if I, like, I can drink a cup of coffee right before I go to bed and fall asleep like that, but sometimes if I take, like, um, a melatonin and I, like, go around the house and like let's say if I'm doing bills or I'm cleaning up or something and I let it be like a half an hour before I let, go lay my dead ha head down my dead head because you know like if you take melatonin really it's not a, it's not a drug it's really more of like a you know vitamin supplement and so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take it and then immediately lay down in a relaxed situation and it just kind of aids you falling asleep okay it makes you in a more relaxed state doesn't put you to sleep well listen I've like continued to do stuff and forgotten I took it and like I don't feel it at all right and then I go upstairs to go to bed like 45 minutes later I'm like oh shit I took that melatonin and I go lay down and then I'm up the rest of the night literally till 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning like I cannot fall asleep it's like it has a counter effect on me so it's interesting how that all works but yeah, I'm totally definitely a vampire. Like, I love staying up late at night. I'm 10 times more productive at night. I just think it's cooler, you know? It's like, I just think the world is a cooler place at night. I mean, I love sunshine and all that, don't get me wrong, but I get very tired too, like, during the day. Well, probably because my sleep patterns, but like, when you go on vacation, like, Alex wants to be at the beach at like nine o'clock, and I am like, oh no, I can't do that. You know, and I let him go, and then, like, I get up, and I have a cup of coffee, and I eat, like, a muffin or a small breakfast, and then I go to the beach, and then I lay down about 11, and I get out there, and about 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock, I'm done. Like, I'm ready to go in, get into the pool, get a good iced Diet Coke for a little while in the pool, lay down on a cabana, go take a nap, and I love when you're on vacation, and you go to bed and it's like so sunny when you take a nap at like four o'clock in the afternoon or, or five o'clock in the afternoon and then you wake up and it's like this it's pitch black oh i love that so much and you can see the stars and people are talking out in the streets and stuff like that it's so much fun isn't it and then you go to dinner and then you come home and you do the romance and all that kind of stuff i love vacations I'm so excited that we're going to mexico it'll be so much fun but anyway yeah I don't know, I just love to stay up late at night. I love going to gas stations late at night. I love all of it. I love going to the Walmart and the mall. I mean, I know it sounds corny, but it's like, when you get used to living that night after a while, and I love TV shows that take place at night too. Like, did you guys ever watch True Detective on HBO? Oh my God, those were so spooky strange, weren't they? Especially the first one. I loved that one so much with Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson. Like, that was some scary shit. Like, I really believe that stuff exists. Probably right out here. So you guys want to see, like, where I'm driving? Look. Like, see, look. We're like, do you see out there? Like, look, Country House. I was talking about this last night. This is where I get the ideas for my books. Look at that, country house. You think somebody was just murdered there? I mean, we are like out, you can't even see, but like this is what Indiana looks like in the countryside. They're doing all kinds of construction. Just country. Isn't that pretty though? <laughs> but I always wonder like, who lives in that house? There's like one light on, what's going on over there, you know? And then when I saw that movie, True Detective, I got even more scared about that shit because it's kind of the place that took place. If you haven't seen season one of True Detective, you should see it. It's fantastic. Well, listen, you guys. I'm going to get off here. I'm almost at the casino. If I win a shit ton of money, I'll get back on here and tell you guys about it. So if you don't see me, if this is the end of the vlog, you know Peter lost his ass. All right, you guys. I love you, and I hope you're having a great weekend. Bye.